ओके फाइनली द नेटवर्क पार्ट कॉन्फ़िगरेशन पार्ट टोपोलॉजी सेटअप पार्ट इज डन वी आर एबल टू पिंग फ्रॉम एनी मशीन टू एनी मशीन वी जस्ट चेकड नाउ विल स्टार्ट विद द प्रैक्टिकल यो द सिनेरियो वाज गिवन द लॉग्स इंडिकेट द कंप्यूटर ऑन दिस नेटवर्क दिस पी सी टू इज रिपीटेडली रिफ्रेशिंग अ वेब पेज कॉजिंग द डिनाइल ऑफ सर्विस अटैक ऑन द सर्वर थ्री अगेन सर्वर थ्री सो वी हैव टू ब्लॉक ऑल द एच टी टी पी एंड एच टी टी पी एस ट्राफिक फ्रॉम दिस नेटवर्क टूवर्ड्स सर्वर थ्री टूवर्ड्स सर्वर थ्री ओके दैट्स वॉट वी हैव टू अचीव अचीव यूर सो लेट्स गो विद द पार्ट वन कॉन्फिगर एंड अप्लाई एंड वेरीफाई एंड आई पी वी सिक्स ए सी एल सो कॉन्फिगर एंड ए सी एल नेम्ड एक्सेस कंट्रोल लिस्ट नेम ब्लॉक अंडर स्कोर एच टी So let me start with the practical now. So let me go to the R1. You are already in. We are already in configuration mode. So I'll just go ahead and mention IPv6 and I'll say question mark. So what is asking? You can see they are giving me the suggestion like what you want to do with it. So I'm like okay, I want to create an access. Sorry, access. Hyphen list, and then again I'll put question mark. Now they are asking me to give the name. So what they have asked, I'll give the name like this: block underscore HTTP. Enter. Now we have to configure the access control list. So we have to deny. Deny what? Question mark. So denying. Uh, you can see ICMP, IPv6, TCP. Of course TCP because HTTP uses the services of TCP. So I'll say TCP. ओके देन अगेन क्वेश्चन मार्क सो दे आर आस्किंग मी द सोर्स आई एम टेलिंग एनी एनी सोर्स लाइक फ्रॉम दिस नेटवर्क विल जस्ट मेंशन एनी सोर्स टूवर्ड्स लाइक व्हाट नाउ दे आर आस्किंग मी द डेस्टिनेशन सो आई एम स्पेसिफिकली मेंशनिंग द होस्ट द होस्ट व्हिच इज सर्वर थ्री द आईपी एड्रेस ऑफ सर्वर थ्री वाज राइट क्लिक एंड आई विल जस्ट पेस्ट इट या इट वाज दिस ओनली 30 कोलन कोलन 30 ओके एंड space and again i'll put a question mark so like if you want to match only a packets of specific port number or like a given port number or specific protocol so i'll just yeah we have to do that eq and then again question mark so they it is asking us to select the network so of course we can see the http network we have to block so we'll just mention triple w here and then enter we are done with it one more time we have to do it because we also have to block the https service also so i'll just copy the same command and instead of triple w we'll just mention the port number of https that is 443 and then click enter and we all also have to allow all the other things like permitting ipv6 like we should be able to ping at least okay from pc to to server so permit pc ipv6 any source to any destination enter now our access control list is ready now we have to just apply it on the correct interface okay so if i minimize this understand this is the inbound traffic right here we can apply this access control list from here to the outside world because this interface connects to this network this interface connects to this network so here we have to put it so click on r1 uh, exit from here okay select the interface uh in our case the interface is let me place the mouse yeah it is gigabit 00 so interface g0/0 enter we are there and let me apply ipv6 the name was given to the first we have to just apply like what we have to supposed to do like if i play say a question mark so it will ask me like of course we want to put the traffic filter there so i'll just mention traffic hyphen filter and then the name of the access control list was block underscore http in we are done okay we are done with this part one now let's verify let's verify let's close this let's go to pc1 and let's see whether we are able to open the browser not browser the page on the server 3 through browser 
so if i paste it here i'm able to access the web page on server 3 right from pc1 let me try from pc2 now before it was allowing me if i paste it here now you will see the website has been blocked request timeout but if i try to ping from pc2 to server 3 let's see if i am able to do that so i'm on the command prompt of pc2 i'll just enter the command ping right click uh, paste the ip address of that server and i'm getting the reply successfully so the only http and https traffic was blocked is blocked other traffics are still allowed okay you all can see we are getting now let's go to the part two okay in this part part one is done part two configure the and apply the verify a second ipv6 acl that logs now indicate that now your server is receiving pings command from many different ipv6 addresses from everywhere in a distributed denial of service attack you must filter the icmp ping request to your server so now not they are not specifying like from this network only ping commands are coming or from this network so we just have to block all the ping commands so for that i guess we have to apply the access control list on this router r3 because r3 is the router which is connected to this network okay on which server 3 resides so let me go to the r3 now okay we are in configuration mode and we'll do the same thing here okay we'll create first access list like ipv6 access hyphen list and giving a name this time block underscore icmp okay through icmp protocol only these ping, ping commands and packets travels right so enter now we have to see like deny deny icmp from any source to any destination and permit ipv6 any to any so that http traffic should not get blocked okay now let's apply this to the interface and of course this interface is a proper because this is towards that network where we have to apply this access control list so let me exit it exit from here and then uh, let me choose the interface that is gigabit zero slash zero enter final command that is ipv6 traffic filter hyphen filter the name of the access control list was block underscore icmp out okay great and i'll say enter now let's verify so if i try to ping now from pc1 to server 3 let's see if we are able to do that from pc1 to command from uh we are trying to ping now server so i'll just change the ip address here 30 uh 30 colon colon 30 and it says that destination host is unreachable now this is the case in pc1 let me try from pc2 also pc2 command prom uh, before you saw that we were able to ping it let me again try to ping but now this time it is saying destination host unreachable but other networks should allow pc2 was already blocked with the http and https service let me see if pc1 can still access the http an HTTPS service on server 3 so go to web browser right click and paste it enter yeah here we go so web page is visible that means the service is accessible that's all from this practical that's all guys from this video if you really like this video press like button and do subscribe to our channel if any queries or suggestions do comment below for more such updates follow us on Instagram and Facebook